Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 Team of the Season player review. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing Team of the Season Jota. Now, this card was released around two weeks ago, but I didn't really have time to review it um, last week, so I've decided to come back this week and review it instead. So as you can see, I actually managed to get this guy for around 30,000 coins, what is a pretty decent price for an 86-rated Team of the Season card. Now he's gone up to around the high 40s, um, just because you do need these players in the game guaranteed team in the season SBCs so as you can see looking at his card overall it looks very very good um, really good pace really good shooting not really the best passing but isn't too bad and then really good dribbling and also he has a decent stamina as well so anyway guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so now moving into the pros and cons for Team of the Season Jota. The first pro I could film this card was his long shots. Now this card has really, really good long shots. As we'll see from the first clip there, um, he nearly scores it right into the top corner. But um, and luckily for me, it does smash back off the crossbar. Um, after that, the next pro I could film this card was his agility. Now this guy has really good agility. Um, what makes him really good for scaling with. As you'll see, a lot of these clips, I do perform some really nice combos. Um, even though he does only have the 4-star score moves, just because his agility is so high, it makes him really easy. Easy to skill with and then the final pro I could find this card was his dribbling and this guy has really really good dribbling um, again he's just one of those players that keeps it really really close to his feet and he's just so hard to dispossess because he has really good agility and really good dribbling and you know you put those two things together and he sort of like does those little like you know in and side outside touches keeps it really close to his feet and it's just really hard to dispossess um, when it dribbling with the ball as you can see there in a really tight space and somehow manages to keep the ball um, runs back outside the box performs a few more skill moves to another skill move and then look at that finishes off very nicely into the bottom corner um, this guy's finishing as well was pretty decent um, occasionally he did miss in front of goal but that is expected you know he is only a winger um, and not a striker but his finishing overall for a winger was pretty pretty good um, after that now moving into the key stat he has at that 90 for agility he has high medium work rates high low probably would be more bet would be um, preferable for a winger but it isn't too bad high medium and then he has a four star weak foot as well so we can also do quite a lot of things on his weaker left foot and as I feel like this FIFA um, four star and five star weak foot so there isn't really too much difference between them in my opinion and as you can see there again um, he does a few skill moves but unluckily for us that time he was unable to finish it so moving into the next chance here there does a really nice off-ball dribbling combo there um, I tried to do the scissors but I failed it um, then I ran it here ran towards the goal did a nice ball right into the space and then finished it off on that four star weak foot into the bottom corner but anyway guys this has been the highlights now let's move into the overview So now moving into the overview for Team of the Season Jota, the first thing I'm going to decide um, his overall um, value and if he should buy this card is his value for coins and I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Um, I think the, at the current time when I did record this video last week he was going for around 35,000 coins and in my opinion that was a good price for this card. Now he's more around the 50,000 coin mark so in my opinion that is a bit too much for this card now so I'd probably bring that down to maybe a 7 out of 10. Enjoyment wise this card was a very very fun to use and I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Um, you know the dribbling was really good he had really good long shots as well and it was also very good for skilling um, what I did like. Competitiveness wise I'm going to give this guy an 8 out of 10. I honestly think you could use this guy in foot champs maybe you know link him up with someone like Neves and those two will be a very very good skilling wise as I've already mentioned a few times this guy is so so good for skilling because of that high agility and then I'm going to give this guy an over rating of a 9 out of 10 so guys if you have enjoyed this player review and want to see more FIFA 18 team of the season player reviews on my channel um, over the next few days now I'm not really sure how many player reviews I'm going to be bringing out um, just because um, all the EPL team of the season players are very very expensive if I'm able to complete the um, EPL team of the season SBC because I've actually done a lot of investments for that um, SBC I probably will review the card he would pack um, from the SBC but apart from that I'm thinking of probably bringing back um, these squad builders to my channel um, I have two really cool squad builders that I've been making um, so I probably will show you guys um, them so anyway guys yeah if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like thanks for watching and see you next time